Hi, it's Sarah Berry here from stampwithsarah.co.uk. I've got a project um, today to make all of cover all of these for my or decorate all of these for my strawberry stampers team. They don't know they're getting these gifts and it's a little surprise. So I'll make sure I pop the video out after they've received these doilies. Now the doilies are new to the spring summer stampin' up catalogue and um they have 24 doilies inside. This side is a very vanilla and the other side is white. So if you like to colour in your doilies or change the colour of them, um, it's quite nice that you've got the vint more of a vintage colour and then a, a white on the other side. So they are new and you can find them in the book. If you don't have a spring summer catalogue, um, please let me know and I will send you one. I'll pop a link in the bottom and you can re request a catalogue for free. Now this is, um, these are the items that I'll be using today. I've got the carousel birthday stamp set to use, the cupcake and carousel paper, which is really cute. Um, and what else do I have? Oh, and the um, Bermuda Bay uh, thick baker's twine. I'll just see if I can find you those doilies. I'm sure they're towards the back. Yes, here they are, the doilies. Okay, so I've already decorated one of them and now I'm going to show you how I've done this and then I'll show you all of them decorated at the end of the video. So we have the cupcakes and carousels um, designer series paper and there's lots of different sheets and patterns in here. There's 48 altogether. And I've started by just peeling some out um, because it's on like a, a glue strip at the top. And that this is a 6x6 six six paper stack. Um, we have a few that are 6x6 six six size, which I find um, it's easier to work with. Um, and I don't feel as guilty as cutting into a 12x12 12 12 piece of paper. But um, it's all the same at the end of the day, really, isn't it? So I've peeled, peeled out four here. One side is more orange and one side is more blue. Um, and here's a quick flick through of the whole um, whole pack here. And so you definitely can see the theme with the um, the merry-go-round as we call it here in uh, the UK. lots of lovely patterns and I love that one side's blue and one side's more of a green uh, sorry more of an orange right so there's um that's the patterns the colors are actually shown on the front of the um the packet so don't lose that so you, it's easy to know what colors um match so I've cut down um one of the sheets of six by six and I've kept it six inches tall and cut it at one and a half inches and I'm actually going to glue these together with my fast fuse make sure I've got them the right way up the first one I did I used the bunting I think I'm going to turn it over this time and have a blue background and all I did was wrap it and place that at the back wrap it over and put a bit of fast fuse again on there move that down and on there make sure my wraps are lined up and that's it so that's um, one wrapped then I've got the um, the horse from the merry-go-round here this is from the carousel birthday stamp set which is this one and I've got the grey ink pad, um, this is the archival Stampin' Up grey, basic grey ink pad. And very, um, not very precise, I'm just going to stamp directly on top of there. And to have my, maybe I should have done that before I wrapped it. But that's okay, that wipes off. So there's one horse. Now I have the second stamp which is because spoiling you is so much fun and I thought that was really really fun to have for my downline because I do love to send them things um, and if I could I could spoil them all of the time so I've got some very vanilla 
cardstock and I'm going to stamp it in the Bermuda Bay ink. Now that matches the colourings that's in the pattern paper here. And you can see I've already stamped one out, which is this one. And the stamp, sorry, the punch, I punched it out. The punch that I've got is the decorative label punch, which has been around for a long time. And it's very popular. And that's that one. And then I will pop a dimensional, which is these hexagon shapes on the back of there, peel the backing off and stick towards the bottom in the centre and then to finish it off I've got some Bermuda Bay um, thick baker's twine but actually I might add some Clipso Coral onto there instead if I can reach it. Okay I've got it so that's, that will be better. So that will be um, a nice contrast because the Calypso Coral is one of the colours that's in the pattern paper and it just all goes really nicely together. So one little bow and I pull my tails of the bow down and I cut them so I like that so I know that they're the same length. And then to fix that I've got some foam pads, uh, not foam pads sorry, I've got a glue dot. I stick the that bow onto the glue dot and then peel the bow off and the glue dot comes off with it and that will stick at the centre just above that decorative label there so that's another one done um, and I really love them I hope my downline will love them and they will really appreciate um, the gift because they're all so lovely so I'm just going to do another one have a look uh, ooh. this one so I'm going to show you the cutting if you've not seen the Stampin' Trimmer before it would be useful for you to see this is Stampin' Up's own trimmer the UK um, or European trimmer has both inches and centimetres across the top just centimetres down the side here um, and the grid is in centimetres but you can if you are inches as well as centimetres you can use um, you can use it because it has got the the ruler in inches across the top so I am doing um, half which is three inches and then one and a half inches and that's the two pieces I need for my wrap And then my fast fuse again. So um, my team is called the Strawberry Stampers and we're based all over the UK. Um, some of us have never met which is okay. It's the good thing about being online is that we have the Facebook group that's where we can talk. And um, we have monthly webinars and get-togethers and parties as well on Facebook. So it doesn't really feel like that we are that far away from each other. And we all do, we do meet up at um, events such as on stage, um, which is every six months. And we like to have team training too um, every six months up and down uh, the UK. I'm having a lot of new people join at the moment because of the, ce um, the Celebration Starter Kit promotion and um, I don't blame them because you get £130 of product for £99 so that is an instant saving and then not only do you get £130 of product for £99 you get two additional stamp sets of any value um, so you could choose a couple that are, say, £30-£40 to go into your starter kit box. And you've got 
a huge amount of product for just £99 and then it's posted to you free and then you get a um, 20% discount um, thereafter until at least June 2017. So if you're into um, stamping up, if you love crafting, if you want to save money or get more for your money I should say I guess, um, purchasing a starter kit at the moment or all the way through the year it's always a very good deal all the way through the year um, that might be something that is of interest to you and if it is you can find all the information at um, the bottom of the post um, through to my website so these are just three so I'm going to carry on now and do some um, do some more and make all of them and then I'll show you the photos at the end of the video of what these look like all together. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions whatsoever please let me know and I'll be happy to answer them. Thanks for watching. Bye.